Good morning, I'm Summer Stephan, your district attorney. What an honor to serve. I want to tell you about Friday in my life and our team's life at the DA's office. So start the day at 7.15, talking to community members, business leaders, and various community organizers about what are the four big challenges in law enforcement. It's really important that we have an engaged community. That's how we solve problems together. Next, I'll uh, drop in for the appointment ceremony of one of our district attorneys that was just appointed by Governor Brown to be a judge. We are very proud as a DA family that one of our own was chosen to serve justice in that capacity. The Rice Court, just the name, resiliency is strength, uh, empowerment, that just tells you what it's about. It's about empowering these kids by giving them support. So just finished an interview about the Rice Court with 10 News, which is a terrific program for sex trafficking victims. And now we're gonna go into beginning to solve the problem of the increasing rates of elder abuse. You know, a society is judged best by how we take care of our children and our seniors. And I'm very excited about the stakeholder meeting. We're gonna to bring together 21 stakeholders from fire, police, law enforcement, aging and independent services, Alzheimer's, and think about how do we prevent elder abuse? How do we stop it from starting? And how do we intervene early and help seniors live healthy lives without abuse, without being defrauded and without being physically abused. So I'm very excited about the ideas that's gonna come out of today. This is the way we solve problems in San Diego, is we talk to each other. We bring the a think tank and we begin to formulate the solutions and the protocols. So thanks for following me today. This is part of making the DA's office accessible so you really know what goes on here, what the day in the life of a DA looks like. And so you saw what happened in the morning. In the afternoon, we continued with our elder abuse symposium and we were able to report out on outcomes of where we should go in the future. How do we build this blueprint for the county? Right after that, then I went into a meeting in order to discuss a high profile case and what is uh, the right course in the case, what additional investigation, what resources it needs, what does the jury trial look like in the case. I received a report on a sexual assault sensitive case to make sure that we are looking at it from every angle and that we're bringing the right expertise to it. And then I ran down to the 12th floor because we are a family here at the DA's office and after 30 years in law enforcement, one of our top investigators is retiring, a well-deserved retirement. And I wanted to personally thank her for her service. I got to work with uh, Kathy for many years when I was chief of sex crimes and human trafficking. So I knew her work firsthand and wanted to show up and thank her personally um, as the DA, which is really, really important to our team to, to make sure we appreciate our people on their way in and during the journey and on their way out. And then I picked up the phone and to make sure I also thank a DA that has taken months um, to put together and try a very difficult attempt murder case. He just got a conviction and was able to get justice for the victim. And I wanted to thank him and congratulate him and the team for the work that they did on the case. What is interesting is that it's now four o'clock and I have about a hundred plus emails to answer and uh, some phone calls to return, some more decisions to make. And this is Friday, but this is actually a very normal and um, low key, if I can say that, um, day in, the, in my life. That's why we picked today to be able to have you follow me. Most days, they're just not the luxury to even have a moment to talk about what the day is um, because everything is overlapping and you are um, prioritizing and juggling and making sure that our county is safe and that our service is 
top-notch for our communities.